Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. And in today's video we are going to be showing you guys how to set up this little fuel bar that we have here. Now over the last few videos we have actually created the variable for this so we have the back end in place and what we need to do now is the front end get the graphics on the screen, set up the progress bar, and set up all of the script behind it. It's going to be very similar to the health bar that we set up in the last video, so let's just go ahead and dive in and get started. So, first things first, you guys need to make sure you have got the latest version of the project files. If you don't have the project files already, just go ahead over to my website, advertishub.co.uk, uh, and you can download them from there. And the two files that we're going to be needing for today's episode is Fuel Arrow and Fuel Overlay, and there is also Dire Fuel over here as well, so there's three files actually. So, when we've got these, we need to go ahead and import those into the engine. So just go ahead and click these three files and drag them into the content browser just like that and we'll get them in there. And that is perfect. Next thing we need to do is actually open up the HUD uh, widget and that will actually allow us to put some graphics in here. So there's a couple of things we need to do. First things first, we need to create a um, a progress bar for the bar itself so we can actually have the fuel moving up and down and it's not just going to be a static image and then we're also going to add in a couple of images as well just for the aesthetic side of things so we got the overlay thing so we have the little black bar that goes over it and we've also got a little arrow as well so with the first thing we are going to go ahead and start working on the progress bar there is a couple of things that we need to do then so First things first, we need to go over to style and we need to set the background image. So go ahead and select the diafuel image and then just go ahead and set that as that. Also, scroll down a little bit and set the margin to zero. That way it captures in the whole image. So go ahead and set it to zero and there you are. And then just go ahead and scale this so it fits on our bar just like it does in the heads up display. Now, if you guys can't get the right position, just go ahead and head up to the, you know, the Photoshop document and just have a quick look at how we've got it set up and just try and duplicate that basically. So that looks about good for now. We're not going to make it too perfect or too pretty for now. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do that just using the transformation tools. So the background actually needs to be black. So that will actually tell the player that they have got no health. So we need to set that to black. So in the background image, go to tint and go ahead and pull that down and make it black just like that. Next thing we need to do is we need to set the fill image. The fill image is sort of the color that it's going to be if it's actually filled up. So if we go ahead and select dire fuel once again, chuck that in there, and then if we go ahead and set the margin down to zero. And we can actually see this working if we move this fill image left, uh, sorry, the fill percentage, you know, from zero to one. Now you can see it's going from left to right at the moment, it doesn't look that great. So we need to make sure we are changing this to bottom to top and now it will fill up as it's sort of going along and that looks quite nice that is perfect so i'm going to go ahead and leave this at 100 percent fill at the moment and now we need to do a few things so just like we did with the health variable before we need to change it from an integer to a float so that we can actually link it to our heads up display so go ahead and jump into your side scroller character give it a second to load up if I'm clicking the right thing, there you are. And just go to player fuel and then just change the variable type to float. And then just go ahead and press change variable type and then change player fuel to one. And then just go ahead and compile that. Don't worry about all the stuff that's happening at the bottom. It's really nothing to be worried about. So go ahead and compile it again and we are all good. So if we go ahead and proceed into our heads up display, just go ahead and open it up inside of our content browser again. And let's go ahead and set up the functionality for this. So first things first, we need to go ahead and create a binding for the percentage. So go ahead and find that. So go to percentage, create binding. And from here, first things first, we need to cast to the side scroller character so that we can actually go ahead and get some information from it. And under object wildcard, once again, it's get player character. There you are. Cool. Next thing that we need to do then is as the side scroller character, we need to get a reference to player fuel. And there you are. And if we go ahead and hook this up now and just chuck it into return value, that is pretty much everything we need to do here. So if we go ahead and press play, because the default value is set to one, it's going to show us that we have got full fuel at the moment. 
if I was to go ahead and open up my side scroller character, hit player fuel, and set this to something like 0.5 just to test it, press compile and close, the player should have only about half of their fuel there and that is looking good. And you can see with our you know fuel pickups and stuff that's going down, uh, which is great. So we need to go ahead and go into our fuel pickup and we need to make some changes for this as well because it's no longer going to be an integer value. So let's go ahead and click that, click that, just get rid of it and set player fuel. We need to go ahead and do integer plus integer, not integer plus integer, float plus float and then go ahead and hook this up. You should have all of this stuff already from the last few videos, it's nothing to worry about. And we're just gonna add 0. Point, let's say 2.25 each time they pick this up. And then destroy actor is self, print string is this, just so that we can actually see it's going up. And I'm also gonna make one more change, which is I'm actually gonna set the player's fuel down to zero by default. So this way we can actually see the fuel going up from zero up to the you know the value that we want to get the players fuel up to so default default value is zero that is perfect and let's go ahead and press play and see how it looks so by default we have just got a black little blob on the screen that's working great if i pick up the fuel icon you can see it's moved up a little bit and if i proceed to just keep going and picking those up i don't know which ones are which as you know they're a bit you know they're not colored they're not marked but we can see that it's working you can also see it's not looking too great at the moment it's actually out of alignment so we need to go ahead and adjust this just to make sure that it looks right so First things first, we need to make sure this is centered and we also need to anchor it to the bottom middle as well. And this will give us a rough idea of where the bottom middle is as well. So we actually need to move this over to the left a little bit. And we also need to do the same thing for our health bar as well. And you can see that's a little bit off. So I'm gonna drag that over, do the same with the background, just making sure that I've got this in place. There you go. So I'm just going to click it and use the arrow key so I can be a bit more precise there. And there we are. We're going to leave it like that. And that is all centered. And now what we need to do is we actually need to add in the little arrow. And we also need to add in the little black overlay that I've got here just to give it that cool looking little effect. So first things first, let's add in the arrow. Select the arrow in your content browser. Select this image that we created already. And then just go ahead and assign this to the brush. And then we can just go ahead and drag it in drop it in just like that. Now we don't want it to be too big as we've actually gonna be putting a timer into this little section here as well. So that should be fine. And once again, as always guys, make sure you actually set the margin on any image that we have down to zero if it is an option. It's nothing to worry about on a normal brush here, so we are gonna be fine. And we are also gonna be setting the anchor to the bottom middle again. Lastly, with this little overlay, select the overlay, assign it to the brush, and then just drag it down to the bottom just like this and just resize it until it makes you know it fits it and makes it look good so a little bit too wide keep on adjusting it there you are and adjust this side as well that is all good and then there you are and we have got a nice looking little fuel bar so if we go ahead and compile this and we go ahead and press play you can see we have our fuel bar and it's looking quite nice. I need to set the anchor point on my overlay. I haven't done that as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. So I'm going to select the overlay, anchors, bottom middle, press play again. And you can see it's all completely black at the moment. But when I go ahead and pick up that fuel, you can see it's going up there. Anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this video. We have got the fuel bar. We have got the health bar. It's all really, really coming together. And what we need to work on over the next few videos now then is actually going to be creating, you know, the abilities, the timer, um, you know, objectives, obstacles, and all kinds of awesome stuff, guys. So make sure you keep tu uh, stay tuned and keep watching. Once once again, stay awesome, keep creating, I'll see you next time, your boy Virtus, signing out.